Alpha commenced his business on April 1, 2012 with a capital of rupees 50,000. From the following data, compute the closing capital applying the accounting equation. Okay, we have plant and machinery, we have furniture, we have creditors, we have bank loan, we have cash in hand. Also calculate the profits earned during the year. <coughs> so let us see. You are told you have to apply the accounting equation. So shall we first write down the accounting equation? The accounting equation says that assets is equal to liabilities plus capital. Right? Now if we look at the data given to us, we know the opening capital, right, as on April 1, 2012, right? From the following data, compute the closing capital applying the accounting equation. Now there is no mention as to what is the date for which this data is given, but let us assume that this is closing data. Right? Why do we conclude that this is a closing data? Because you are supposed to calculate the profits earned during the year as well. Right? So if you compute the closing capital using this data, then you can calculate the profits. We'll come back to it. Let's first concentrate on computing the capital. So if you apply this thing, first you have what? Plant and machinery. So let's look at the asset side. And I'll just compute these separately because now the number of data is more. So in asset you have plant and machinery 50,000. Whenever you do these kind of question, you should always put in a mark against the item which you have already considered. I always follow this ever since I was a student. The reason being that that reminds you whenever you are going through the data that look this is what I have completely done. And the earlier this habit you develop the better it will be for you as you grow in your accounting career. So I have done plant and machinery, so I have marked a tick here with a yellow one. Then I have furniture. Which is 20,000. Then I have creditors, but creditors is what? Creditors is a liability, so I will compute liabilities on this side. Creditors. How much is creditors? 20,000. Bank loan. 15,000. Cash in hand. Cash in hand is what? Is it a liability? No. It's an asset. So I will put cash in hand here. Do I have any other item? The answer is no. How much is cash in hand? 30,000. Now what I notice I am completed with all the items because I have put in a tick against all these. But there is an opening balance of capital also. So what do I do with this? Let's just hold on to it because this accounting equation you have to do on a particular date. So let us do the total of assets and liability. Total of assets is 50 plus 20, 70 plus 30, 100,000. Liabilities is 20 plus 15, 35,000. Now what I do is I will put on these values in the accounting equation. So my asset is equal to 100,000. My liabilities is equal to 35,000. So the difference is going to be what? It's going to be my capital. Right? Or in other words capital is equal to 100,000 minus 35,000. We take this 35,000 to the other side of the equation or 65,000. So I am done with the first part of the question which says compute the closing capital. Right? So applying the accounting equation I have computed the value of the closing capital. Now comes the second part. Also calculate profits earned during the year. Now tell me something. If you have an opening capital Okay, and you have a closing capital, right? We have both these numbers. The opening capital was 50,000 
closing is 65,000. So what is the increase between these two? Normally, I mean, leave alone this question for the time being, if I have to just explain to you logically, normally you might have an opening capital plus you add the profits during the year less you reduce the drawings or the withdrawal made from capital during the year and then you get the closing capital right but in the present case there are no drawings which are given in any of the data so this means that when to the opening capital we added profits during the year we would have arrived at closing capital right or in other words profits plus opening capital is equal to closing capital in this particular case that we are talking about or in other words the profits are equal to closing capital minus opening capital closing capital we know is how much 65,000 minus opening capital is 50,000 so the difference between the two or the profits are equal to 15 thousand right so the profits earned during the year are equal to closing capital minus opening capital which is 15,000 right with that we come to the end of this video if you like it please hit the like button at the bottom of this channel okay or on my website where you have a Facebook like link if you want to help us create an educated world, please share this with as many people as you can and help us create awareness and education amongst the people. We are today suffering from a lot of very expensive education. My effort would go waste in case, you know, this remains with a few people. And therefore, the request is, please share this with as many people as you can. Okay. With that, I am signing off. This is Arinjay, your tutor for this lesson. We wish you all the success in life, have a very happy learning and look forward to seeing you in further accounting classes and videos which will be regularly updated on our website iedubook.com. Thank you very much.